Oh my darling Cocoa Puffs, it's your girlfriend Coco Peru coming to you today from my bathroom here in Van Nuys, California again. But uh, really, uh, it's such a gorgeous day here today. I was outside. I really wanted to film outside. Uh, but my neighbors that just moved in, they're building a shed. There's all sorts of fucking banging going on back. You know, my head can't take it, especially after once again being awakened by the rooster at 5 a.m. That rooster started crowing at 5 a.m. And I, I got up so, so fast, I knocked over a glass of water next to me, all over my carpet, knocked my glasses, may I say, my rather expensive glasses to the floor. Thank God they didn't break, because then I'd really have to do something to that rooster. Right now, I think I might just have to call 311. You know, report them. Um, but anyway, uh, what I wanted to share with you today, you know, when my mother, uh, a few years ago, quite a, quite a few years ago, she was telling Rafa and I that ever since she was little, uh, she wanted to go to a real castle. But of course, here in the United States, we don't have castles. So later after that, my, my, my husband Raphael says to me, well, you know, Spain is full of beautiful castles. Let's take your mother to Spain. It's me, a wonderful husband, that Raphael. So that's what we did. We took my mother to Spain. And this is a picture of my mother standing in front of uh, a castle. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I have it in a frame, but it was um, reflecting. I was worried it would reflect, so I took it out of the frame. There's Helen standing in front of the uh, in Segovia, in front of the castle, or as they call it, the Alcaza Alcazar. My husband will kill me. I butcher the Spanish language. Anyway, um, it was such a thrill uh, to take my mother to Spain, you know, to meet Raphael's family and everything. But then to see my mother, you know, in front of a castle, you know, that little girl that always wanted to be in front of a castle. And in one of my shows, I, I talk about this trip. And um, we also took her to a town called Siguenza. <laughs> I sh I'm sure I butchered that too. They have a beautiful old castle there that was turned into a parador, which is a hotel. Gorgeous, absolute gorgeous. And uh, we we drove up and you from afar, you could see this castle up on the mountain. And my mother looked at it. She was, oh my God. She said, now that's a castle. And uh, we pull up in front of it and she was so excited. And, and when we walk in, I said, uh, mom, this is a hotel and guess what? We're staying here for the night. Oh, she was she was beyond thrilled. Like I tell you, like a little girl. And uh, one of the funny things that happens in in that castle was we went for breakfast uh, the following morning in this big hall, big medieval hall, gorgeous. And um, we were the only ones in there by the time it was time to leave, you know. And there were these little bottles of olive oil, little personal bottles of olive oil on every table for, you know, the bread. And my mom said, are these free? I said, yeah, they're just like, instead of a pad of butter, you get a little tiny bottle of nice olive oil. And my mother said, uh, you know, these would make a wonderful gift for my friends. And my mother went to all the tables opens up her purse and threw the olive in, uh, olive oil in there. Like a true New Yorker, I was so proud of her. You know, in the past, I would have been mortified as a kid, but as an adult, I was like, Ma, you need to hit the tables on this side as well. Anyway, she, she brought home little little presents, including those uh, those bottles of olive oil. But um, the, the one thing that happens as we were walking in Seguenza, uh, along this old, old cobblestone street, my mother just stopped. I, and, and this is what I talk about my show. She just stopped and she said, oh my God, think of all of the people who have walked up and down this street through history. They, of all the people who have stood on this very spot. And then she said, it kind of makes you feel insignificant makes you want to leave the world something so that you'll be remembered, right? And, you know, I, I didn't, I'd let my mother have her moment. I didn't say anything, you know, because we all have those moments of just being so overwhelmed and sometimes feeling so insignificant. 
Now, especially during this pandemic, we were alone and our lives have been so disrupted. We, we might question like, why am I here? What, what's happening? Who am I? And uh, well, you know, two minutes later, my mother snapped out of it and she took Raphael arm in arm and they were walking a little bit, you know, and a little bit ahead of me. And she said, you know, Raphael, all my life, ever since I was a little girl, I dreamed of seeing a real castle. And here at my age, I realized that sometimes dreams come true. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so happy that my husband and I were able to do that with my mother. It's a moment. It's one of those little things, right? That I realize is a big thing. And this picture, I, I do, like I said, I keep it in a frame because it just, it reminds me of so many things. You know, that special time you get to share with, uh, with my mom. But also, sometimes we feel insignificant. But uh, in reality, each of us, you know, we have our moments walking on that cobblestone street, standing in that spot. And I say, own that moment. All right, my darlings, I love you so much. I do miss you. And, um, well, I'll hopefully be seeing you soon. All right, bye now.